All or not according to Jack with your host Jack Toldano. And look where we are today. The skies finally turned nice and blue for us. We are at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And I can't do much about the music in the background, but this is what we're gonna do something a little unique here. We're actually going to do a review of the new Deep Purple album, Equals One. So let's talk about that. Uh, hopefully this will just be a couple of minutes. As I get my notes here, I know some others uh, did the uh, review. So here goes. Top songs on that album equals one. Sharpshooter, 4.25. Portable Door, 4.25. Old Fangled Thing, four out of five stars. I'm saying nothing. 4.5 stars. Lazy Sod, which I think is the best song on the album. 4.5 stars. Now you're talking four. No, uh, no money to burn. I did burn some money here today. Uh, four stars. Last song, they ended on a high note. Leading obvious 4.5 stars. Uh, so, one major difference in the band was that... Uh, uh, oh shit, what's his name? So, they're now on guitarist number three. First there was Richie Blackmore, then Steve Morse. Now they have a new guitarist, Simon McBride. So, my comments on the band, I, I was a little disappointed that the, uh, I'm, a, I'm a Hammond organ guy and I love the Hammond organ, but I would say at least for the first hit, uh, three songs, I, I would say it was devoid and a little disappointing. Uh, towards the middle, it started to pick up a bit. Simon McBride on guitars, I think he did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Excellent. He has some big shoes to fill, but he did a good job. Um, Ian Gillen, he sounds the age he is. He's in his 70s. He just can't belt it out anymore. And there's a little, my son noticed there's a little bit of a whine to his voice. So, what are you going to do? We're happy that, you know, that this, that our legacy bands are still producing albums, but I was hoping for something top-notch, like uh, what Judas Priest gave us in 2018 with uh, Firepower, or what uh, Uriah Heep gave us last year with uh, Chaos and Color, but this isn't it. Also, let's talk about the album cover. So you see that awning right there? That's about what the what the album cover looks like. Plain white, like uh, the second coming of the Beatles White Album. Um, no, disappointing. Could have done a little better than that, guys. But overall, four out of five stars. Pretty good effort. You know, I am happy that they're still producing music, but you know what? Wasn't a five-star performance. Sorry. Your choice if you're a big Deep Purple fan and you collect all their albums, by all means, get it. Otherwise, listen to it on Spotify like I do. This is Jack Toldano, speaking for all or not according to Jack. I haven't been on lately because I've had some things come up in my life. I had to rush my wife to the emergency room the other day and... Between that and uh, work's been kick, really kicking my ass, so. Uh, and of course, as you can see, I'm away. I am in the city of Cleveland right now, so I am quite a ways away from Long Island. Hopefully, next week, later in the week next week when I'm back, I'll be able to give you some content. I have some things planned, not only with myself, but uh, Davy Creighton, so stay tuned. And I will talk to you soon. Jack Toldano, all or not according to Jack. Bye, all.